Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I am back today with another possibility for a craft fair item. I'm really thinking about putting these in my craft fair. Um, but what they are is I made little I made little cards. They kind of look like little postcards in a way, but I put a pocket on the front, so I'm just gonna call them pocket cards. And you put a little candy down in the front. So the little pocket works perfect for some M&Ms, as you see here. Um, some of the small candy bars would be good in here too. Anything that's kind of a flat candy would work well. And as you see here, I have added this one into a clear bag that I had, and it would work well. You can also use a little bit larger clear bag and have a little bit extra on the top if you wanted to make a topper for it. But these are gonna be a low value item, so I don't really see um, a reason to do that because you don't wanna to put too much supplies into it when it's gonna be a low, like a dollar item. So anyway, let me quickly show you how I made this. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're gonna need a base piece of cardstock and that measures four and one eighth by eight inches and you're going to you're going to score this and let me just see you're going to score this at five and a half grab my little scoring tool five and a half and that is it for your scoring y'all so simple this is going to be a quick project you could whip these out so fast Okay, so you're just gonna fold that on the crease. Get it good and smooth down. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do is you wanna put an embellishment paper in the back, and I've already pre-cut those as well. And this one is gonna fit right in here. I didn't make it go all the way down the fold because there's no need, it's behind the, it's behind the pocket, so you won't even see it anyway. But you're going to adhere this down. Now this piece of paper, it measures 3 and 7 eighths by 5. So you want to put yourself some, some nice double-sided adhesive. Okay. So you want to make sure you get it good good and uh, lots of adhesive so you can have this sealed down really well and center this on the center of this of the cardstock that you pre-cut see isn't that pretty y'all I love that paper and I think that I got this paper I think I got it at Joann's in the open bin section so like how you can buy them by the sheet I think that that's where I got that paper from I just love that Okay, so now we're gonna need to seal up the side. So I'm gonna use something a little bit stronger for the side, because you, since you're gonna put your candy down in it, you don't want your uh, you don't want the sides to pop open. So I'm just gonna use a little red tape. And let's see here, where's my scissors? There we go. I'm gonna use a little red tape on each side. Y'all, these are so fast to make. Super cute, super, super cute. And I think that they'd really be a good addition to your craft fair, like low value items it would be good. This would be a good item to have. All kids are gonna want this. Or if you made a bunch of these, parents would probably buy these for the kids to take and give out to their classroom. So that's just a good plus right there. Okay, so I've got my, my adhesive on there, and I'm going to press that down really, really well. And then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put in a put an embellishment paper right here on the top. I thought that kind of matched really nice. I like that. So I'm going to adhere this down. Gonna center it in the center there. Okay, there we go. Now I have this piece. This piece is for the back and it's four and a fourth by five and three fourths. And it's just gonna go on the back. 
Okay, and as you see here, if you look right here, it kind of overhangs just a little bit, and that is what you want. That's kind of what I did with these. And actually, before we adhere that on, I want I what I did with these is I used my corner chomper and I kind of angled them. If you don't have a a crop a dial to do this, you can just cut it whip, cut it by hand. But I'm just gonna go ahead and trim my corners because I kind of I kind of like that. And before I put this down, I actually should have went ahead and had did those too, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do these as well before I adhere it down to the back. You could have left this, uh, left nothing, put nothing on the back if you didn't want to, if you wanted to, but um, I kind of thought it was kind of neat to have some matching paper on the back. So I'm gonna adhere this down. Get this down. I think I'm gonna try to match it up in this from the top. Try to center this the best that you can. And I really think that if I wanted to lift up these corners, I could do. I could go ahead and just snip them too. I'm just going to snip them just because I kind of, it's kind of bugging me I didn't do that. When you do it like this so you don't get it as straight, but I'm just going to show you. That way you have a little bit of the red hanging over on these corners. So let me do that. Now, um, last night I chose my winner for my 1500 subscriber giveaway. And, um, yeah, Sandy's Handiwork, she's the handiwork, I hope I got it right, Sandy, she's the one that won. Congratulations, Sandy, I did mail that out to you today, and, um, yeah, I hope that you're going to enjoy your crocodile. Okay, so, now we've got this, at this time you can choose to add some washi tape, you can choose to add anything that you would like. You can add just like some ribbon, some trim, anything like that. But I think for this particular one, I'm just going to leave it, I'm just going to leave it blank. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of my scallop circles. I've already pre-cut this. This is a two and a half inch and this is two inch. And let's see, I'm just going to adhere this down. Now on these, if you wanted to, you could just put like a to and from on here. Um, I'm gonna put like a Christmas embellishment on mine. And let's see, I got that little crooked, so let me fix that. Gotta fix that, okay. Get that off here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I have my scallop all ready to go and I'm just gonna adhere it to down here at the bottom. You can use glue, you can use a double-sided tape, just something really good so it will stay on. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it down kind of in the center. That's really cute, huh y'all? I love the color combinations. Your paper doesn't have to totally match to make it look good, I promise you. Just try it and see if you're the type that wants your stuff to match all the time, like, oh, that paper doesn't coordinate, just give it a try, because I promise you, you might like it if you just try it. Okay, so now I'm gonna find a little embellishment on here. Um, I could put a Santa Claus. Let's see if I've got one in my bucket over here. Or I could put, I have some Merry Christmas, but I think, oh, here's a Santa right here, Mr. Santa Claus. You can put any embellishment that you want, but I think this would be really cute. 
Yeah, I do like it. Eh, look at him. Isn't he so sweet? I love him. And how easy is this? You have made the cutest little card that you can put candy in. You can use it for a gift card. Um, whatever you'd like. If you'd like to also add an extra little card, like a Merry Christmas card or something like that. Like I have um, a bunch of these, like these cut aparts that I cut out. You could layer it and add it to the back and that would be really cute as well. Or you could just like a do a to and from and add it in there or anything. Just a little personal note would be okay as well. But isn't that cute, y'all? I love it so much. Actually, I like that one better. I think this one is my third favorite. This is second. That's first. So I got them in my order. One, two, three. How I like them. Because um, I just love the bright paper, but I love this fun paper hair. And that is just, that's so super cute. So this one's cute, this one's cute as well, but I don't know, I kinda like this one too. Okay, so what do you guys think? I hope that you're gonna give this little project, this quick project a try, and um, maybe you might think of adding it to your craft fair. To me, I would pay, I would charge a dollar for these. These are gonna be dollar items. Um, you can make up a bunch of these. I would put them in some cellophane um, wrapping or like a clear pocket or whatever, um, I would do that because if not, the candy might fall out and you wanna make sure that, you're, that you have it all safe and secure. But if you had a bunch of these and you, like you're gonna, if you're gonna make these, I would advise a good 50 of them because you might get a mom that wants to buy some for the classroom. And most classrooms have what, 25 or 30 kids in them, so yeah. You could just have these all lined up really cute in a nice little basket. And I bet you they would sew because they're cute and yeah, enclosed candy. Okay, so what do y'all think? Leave me a comment below if you like this and if you want to give this a try. And again, congratulations to Sandy. Yeah, like I said, I mailed your prize today. So you should have it on Thursday at the latest Friday, but I'm thinking Thursday. Um, but anyway... Uh, my next giveaway will be at 2000 so when that time comes, then I will announce my next giveaway. So anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. And hey, there's a notification bell next to that subscribe button. If you click that, it will let you know whenever I upload a video. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.